Hey you guys, I'm here to share with y'all a project and I'm going to have to make this video quick because like it's the day before I'm leaving and I have to pack everything and get the rest of the stuff done. So, real quick, this is an altered candle holder that I did for um, my boyfriend's grandmother, my granny Pixie I call her. Um, she's an awesome, awesome lady and I just want to do something special for her. Um, I'll go ahead and pick up the camera, I don't want to make y'all dizzy but this thing's too big to fit on frame. So you can see how big it is. It's just a big candle holder, and I don't remember where we got this at. I don't know, y'all. But I just fell in love with, like, the glass and the wood trim. So I just wanted to alter it a little bit. So all the way around, which you'll see in a minute, um, I ran this lace and this pearl trim all the way around from the front all the way around to the back, which you'll see the back in a minute. Um, I added this flower spray right here. Um, this one I made myself out of satin. and just put an Iron Roses one in the middle and some skeleton leaves coming off. Got bling coming out and then a whole like ton of flowers coming up here to just do a spray and I dyed them all different colors um, to go with the earth tones and then the pops of red. I never liked red you guys and I'm on this red kick now after Christmas so it's like my new favorite color to work with. And then some of my handmade cherry blossoms in there but um, and just some bling coming out in different spots. So really simple, but I just think it looks elegant and pretty, and I really hope she likes it. So that's the front. I didn't want to cover up the glass too much because, of course, the candles were in there. On the inside is this potpourri type bomb. Um, kind of looks like cocoa beans a little bit. But it's this potpourri stuff that I put down in there. And I don't know if I'm going to glue the candles down or not yet because they're kind of like sliding. But I want her to be able to um, change them out if she decides to. No, baby, I'm talking to my YouTube people. And then I put these pictures in here in the back. That's of um, her son Jeff and his Josh. boy Josh. And there's Pixie and Bob, which is the one it's for, Granny Pixie. This is Chris and uh, yeah. This is Chris and his brother Johnny. That's and then this is this is Mom and her husband Mike. Yeah, that's in Tennessee. At no, house. that's at Panama City Beach, honey. That's at Schooners. Um, and then on the back of it, I'll go ahead and show you, this has a handle too, so she can either put this on her coffee table or Chris will mount it on her wall for her if she chooses. Oh, Jeff's outfit? No, not yet. But this goes all the way around. And then, um, thank you. And then the, this is the backs of the photos from the front. And I put pretty paper because, thank you, honey, because I want everybody to sign like a note to her, like everybody's pictures, like Janet and Mike, they can write a little note to Granny Pixie on the back of it. So that goes all the way down there. But if it's mounted on the wall, of course, it won't really be shown. But anyway, okay, and then the candles themselves. So as you guys can see, this thing's massive. But, um, excuse me, the candles themselves, I'll just take two out. Um, they're all done with the scroll work on the edge die by Tim Holtz. And I used lost and found paper. And I just did it all the way around the candle. And then I ran this lace all the way around the candle on the bottom. And then just on the front of each one, I did one of my handmade cherry blossoms with a little bling crystal, gold crystal bling on the side of it. It's so not every, real crystal though. No, it's not, it's fake, I think it's plastic. And it's not even gold. No, but whatever. So the same thing on this one, all of them are the same. They just have the scroll work going around it with the lost and found paper, the lace, and then a flower. And real paper and real lace. Real paper, real lace, yes honey, not fake. So it just goes in there like that, and I'll pick the camera up and show y'all real quick. And this is a lollipop flower that Mahani made, yes, and she yes, had saw her own custom design, and she uh, yeah. burns the edges and makes it very pretty. <laughs> it's and, my own custom one. And yeah. then she, this is just the I Am Roses flower that yes, she glamour misted, yes. um, and it's really clean. And then she added some white skeleton leaves. Good and then, job, of course, honey. Like, some little bling sticking out here, and then <laughs> all the mixture of I Am Roses, and these are all... Um, glimmer mist or alcohol inked. Yes, they are. Yeah, and this one's alcohol inked too. It was originally a white one. It's the same as this yes, one. Yes, it was. You know, it blends all with the trim and everything in the backdrop really well. Goodness, and you're smart. And then she um, inked the edges of this one a little bit with some of with her copper uh, gold gold pad, and, but it's not real gold. And right. of course, they just continue on up this way. And then yes, that one's do. got some of the platinum. Um, platinum, yes, yeah, it does. Yeah, trimmed, and then darker alcohol inks on the ends and tips to give it. Very good. Anything else I missed? Um, and then this is just stained. I didn't the, stain. It was already like that. Yeah, we stained that. No, we didn't, honey. We're going to lie to them. Oh, okay. We stained that. Yeah. Is that it? Yep. All right. Bye, you guys. Bye, you guys.